Section 22.4 Nomenclature. A transition metal complex may contain multiple transition metal centers, and sometimes you may find a ligand is bonded to two transition metal centers at the same time, or even three, or even four. So in that case, we need to use this Greek letter mu to specify that this ligand is bonded to multiple transition metal centers, and if the ligand is bonded to two different transition metal centers, you need to specify mu sub two. If the ligand is bonded to three transition metal centers, mu sub three. If the ligand is bonded to five. Transition metal centers, mu sub five. Okay, that's really rare. I don't think、uh, you can find、uh, that example easily. And for simplicity, if the ligand is bonded to only two transition atoms,、uh, you can just use mu, mu dash, and then followed by the ligand name. All right. And whenever you see mu dash hydroxidal, that means this hydroxidal ligand is bonded to two. Transition metal centers.、Uh, now let me show you one example here. This is a transition metal complex that contains two transition metal centers, chromium three, chromium three.、Uh, this one is surrounded by one, two, three, four, four、uh, amine ligands. One, two, three, four, four amine ligands. And also between this two transition metal centers, there are two bridging ligands. Uh, this one is hydroxidal. This one is amidal, and both are bonded to two transition metal centers. So when we name this, we need to say mu hydroxidal. When we look at this, we need to say mu amidal.、Uh, also, you can、uh, put two here if you want to, and then it's just mu two amidal, mu two hydroxidal. Bis,、uh, because、uh, if you Finished naming these two bridging ligands, and then you need to look at the left hand side. You look at the right hand side; they are exactly same.、Uh, that's why we say bis here.、Uh, the reason we do not say di is because this name is fairly complex. Okay, so that's why we use bis, a、uh, bis tris tetrakis pentakis for two, three, four, five complicated. Uh, complexes or ligands. So this is bis. One, two, three, four, four amine ligands. So tetraamine, cobalt three. Now this is the name of this transition metal complex. One more example over here.、Uh, you have copper two and copper two.、Uh, over here, this copper two is bonded to two chloride ligands. Same here. And then between these two transition metal centers, there are also two chloride ligands.、Uh, what's the difference between these two and these two? Well, over here, this chloride is bonded to multiple transition metal centers at the same time. One bond here, another bond here. One bond here, one bond here. So in this case, we need to say this is mu dash chloride or mu two dash chloride. To specify that this chloride ligand is bonded to two transition metal centers, and since we have two such bridging ligands, and we need to say di mu chloride, that means we have two chloride ligands, and each is bonded to two transition metal centers. And then we look at this structure.、Uh, this is just di chloride copper two, and we have two of those. Therefore, it's just bis. Dichloride copper two, and also、uh, if you are given this name, hopefully you can draw this structure properly. And in each、uh, copper two plus center here, it's surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sigma、uh, electrons donated by those、uh, chloride ligands. And copper two has nine d electrons, so in total it's nine plus eight, seventeen valence electrons. 
are surrounding this copper two center. Uh, now I want to uh, talk about this um, bridging ligand chloride over here. Uh, this is actually chlorine minus with four lone pairs. Uh, this chlorine minus uses one lone pair here to form a sigma bond on the left, another lone pair here to form a sigma bond on the right. And then on top of this chlorine minus, uh, there are two lone pairs, uh, one pointing towards you, uh, one pointing away from you. So there's a wedge here and a hash here. All right, same for this uh, chloride ligand. Uh, more about naming. So sometimes uh, when you have a fairly large ligand that contains multiple donors, potential donors, uh, in this case uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, five carbons in this ring, and actually it's possible for all these five carbon atoms to donate electrons to this transition metal center. And also, it's possible for only three, one, two, three, three carbons to donate electrons to the transition metal center. Or maybe even two. So if you put a transition metal here, this cyclopentadienyl Ni may uh, bond to this transition metal center via only two points of attachment. So it's really difficult for us to know uh, how many points of attachments uh, there are in this transition metal complex. So we use this Greek letter eta superscript n to specify uh, how many points of attachments uh, there are. So now in this structure, uh, this is ferrocene, uh, this iron 2 plus is sandwiched by this two aromatic cyclopentadienyl anion. All right, this is aromatic because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six p electrons forming this uh, conjugated network. And you learned this arom aromas uh, aromatic compounds um, in. Organic chemistry, you need a ring structure and you need a uh, 4n plus 2 uh, p electrons. So you can have 2 p electrons, 6 p electrons, 10 p electrons uh, to uh, make this ring aromatic, this conjugated ring aromatic. All right, so now let's look at this five carbon atoms. In this case, all five carbon atoms are bonded to this transition metal center all five p orbitals have significant overlap with the uh, empty d orbitals centered on this iron 2 plus or s orbital 4s orbital or 4 p orbitals and this is why we need to specify this eta 5 in front of this cyclopentadienyl so when you see eta 5 dash cyclopentadienyl, that means, okay, all five atoms in this ring structure are bonded to the transition metal. And since we have two such ligands, we need to put a bis here. Bis eta 5 dash cyclopentadienyl in 2. So that's how we name this ferrocene structure. Oh, we can uh, review the electron counting here, uh, we have six p electrons coming from this ring. Six p electrons coming from the ring on the bottom. And then iron 2 plus contains six d electrons. So six, 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 18 electrons are surrounding this transition metal center. 